Did Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, leave a legacy that is more controversial than celebrated? Jawaharlal Nehru, a key figure in India's fight for independence and its first Prime Minister, left an indelible mark on the nation, his contribution shaping its early years. Yet beneath the surface, there are aspects of his life and career that have sparked debate. Did this esteemed leader also leave a trail of controversies that cast a shadow on his legacy? Delve into the lesser-known aspects of Nehru's life and career that have raised eyebrows and stirred controversy. Nehru's early political career was not without its flaws. Born into privilege, Jawaharlal Nehru was educated in England, and upon his return to India, he soon jumped into the tumultuous waters of Indian politics. His early career was marked by a series of missteps and misunderstandings, which were mainly the result of his Western education and lack of ground-level experience in India. His involvement with the Indian National Congress, the party that would later lead India to independence, was fraught with internal politics. Nehru's vision of a modern, industrialized India often clashed with the more traditional views of his party colleagues. His approach was seen as too radical, too Western and not in line with the socio-economic realities of a largely agrarian India. One of the most notable disagreements was with Subhas Chandra Bose, a charismatic leader known for his unwavering commitment to India's freedom. Bose advocated for a more aggressive approach towards the British, while Nehru, influenced by Mahatma Gandhi, insisted on non-violent resistance. This deep-seated ideological conflict led to a split in the Congress, with Bose eventually leaving the party. Additionally, Nehru's early political career was marked by a series of failed initiatives. His attempts to implement socialist policies were met with resistance, and his vision for a secular India was often at odds with the religious sentiments of the population. These early failures would later come back to haunt him during his tenure as India's first Prime Minister. Despite his early missteps, Nehru was a major player in India's struggle for independence. His vision for a modern, progressive India, while often controversial, played a significant role in shaping the nation's future. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that his early political career was far from perfect. His disagreements with other leaders, his failed initiatives and his often misunderstood vision for India all contributed to a contentious political career. These early experiences would shape his later years in office, often leading to decisions that were controversial and divisive. The early political career of Nehru was marked by discord and disagreements, setting a precedent for his later years. Nehru's economic policies were a source of contention. As India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru sought to transform the nation's economy through socialist policies. His vision was one of a mixed economy, where both the public and private sectors would coexist, with the government playing a dominant role in key industries. Yet this approach harbored flaws that would become apparent over the years, leading to economic stagnation. The public sector, under Nehru's model, was often marred by inefficiencies and a lack of competition. This resulted in sluggish growth, and the Indian economy lagged behind other developing nations that had embraced more market-oriented policies. Moreover, Nehru's focus on heavy industries, while neglecting agriculture, resulted in an imbalance. Despite a significant portion of the population relying on agriculture for their livelihood, the sector was starved of much-needed investment. This neglect led to low agricultural productivity and food shortages, which further exacerbated poverty in rural areas. Nehru's economic policies also failed to attract foreign investment. His socialist ideology, coupled with a complex regulatory framework known as the License Raj, discouraged foreign companies from investing in India. This lack of foreign investment was a missed opportunity for economic growth and job creation. Despite these challenges, Nehru's policies were not entirely without merit. His emphasis on education and infrastructure laid the foundations for future development. However, the overall economic impact of his policies was disappointing. India's per capita income grew at a snail's pace during his tenure, and poverty rates remained high. In hindsight, it's clear that Nehru's economic vision was not fully realized, while his intentions were noble, his policies did not deliver the economic prosperity he had promised. His model of a state-dominated economy proved to be a bottleneck for growth, and his neglect of key sectors like agriculture left many Indians mired in poverty. Nehru's economic vision, though well-intentioned, failed to deliver the prosperity he promised. 
His legacy in terms of economic policy is one of missed opportunities and unfulfilled potential. It serves as a reminder that good intentions alone are not enough and that policy decisions must be based on pragmatic considerations rather than ideological convictions. Nehru's foreign policy decisions were not always in the best interests of India. This statement might be surprising to some, but let's delve into the details to understand better. Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, was a larger-than-life figure who shaped the nation's trajectory in its early years. However, his foreign policy approach, particularly towards China and the non-aligned movement, has been a topic of intense debate. One of Nehru's most criticized decisions was his handling of the India-China border dispute. Nehru's Panchil, or the Five Principles of Peaceful Coexistence, was an agreement signed with China in 1954. This agreement was meant to foster peace and mutual respect between the two nations. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out as expected. China waged a surprise attack on India in 1962, leading to a humiliating defeat for India. This event exposed the weakness in Nehru's trust-based approach towards China and the fallout of this policy failure is still felt today. Furthermore, Nehru's commitment to the non-aligned movement during the Cold War era was certainly idealistic. The aim was to maintain a neutral position and not align with either the United States or the Soviet Union. However, this policy had its drawbacks. It isolated India from potential allies and left the nation on shaky ground during times of international crisis. Some critics argue that this policy prevented India from becoming a key player on the global stage. In retrospect, Nehru's foreign policies were marked by a certain naivety and idealism, which often didn't match the harsh realities of international politics. While his intentions might have been noble, the execution often fell short, leading to unintended consequences. Nehru's foreign policy decisions were not without their merits. However, it's important to acknowledge these missteps and learn from them. After all, hindsight, as they say, is 2020. Nehru's missteps in foreign policy had long-lasting repercussions for India. And as we continue to navigate the complex world of international relations, we must remember the lessons of our past to make informed decisions for our future. Even Nehru's personal life was not free from controversy. As we delve into the personal side of Nehru's life, we find a number of contentious issues that have raised eyebrows and sparked debates. Firstly, Nehru's romantic life was a subject of much speculation and intrigue. Allegations of his affairs, particularly with several women who were not his wife, have been a hot topic of discussion. One of the most well-known of these alleged relationships was with Padmaja Naidu, the daughter of Sarojini Naidu. While no concrete evidence exists to confirm these allegations, they have nonetheless been a source of much controversy. Perhaps the most well-documented and widely discussed of Nehru's alleged affairs was his relationship with Edwina Mountbatten, the wife of Lord Louis Mountbatten, the last Viceroy of India. Their relationship was said to have begun in the late 1940s, a tumultuous time for India as it navigated its way to independence. Letters exchanged between the two, along with accounts from their contemporaries, suggest a deep emotional bond that extended beyond mere friendship. While the exact nature of their relationship remains a mystery, it has certainly sparked curiosity and controversy in equal measure. Critics argue that these personal controversies, whether true or not, distracted Nehru from his responsibilities as the Prime Minister of India. They suggest that his personal life may have influenced his decision-making, potentially compromising the welfare of the nation. Defenders, on the other hand, argue that Nehru's personal life should be separated from his political life and that his contributions to the country should not be overshadowed by these controversies. Nonetheless, the controversies surrounding Nehru's personal life have added a new dimension to the narrative of his life and legacy. They have given critics further ammunition to challenge his place in history and raised questions about the man behind the political figure. These personal controversies added a layer of scandal to Nehru's already controversial career. As we move forward, it's crucial to remember that these controversies are just one aspect of a larger, more complex picture. To sum up, Jawaharlal Nehru's legacy is a mixed bag. His early political career was marked by both inspiring leadership and questionable decisions. 
While his determination and rhetorical skills propelled him to the forefront of India's struggle for independence, his authoritarian tendencies and lack of democratic spirit raised eyebrows among his contemporaries. Nehru's economic policies, particularly his commitment to socialism and planned economy, were met with mixed responses. While these policies laid the foundation for India's industrial growth, they also stifled private enterprise and led to economic stagnation. His mistakes in economic planning, coupled with a lack of foresight, contributed significantly to India's economic woes in the decades that followed. His foreign policy missteps, most notably his handling of the Sino-Indian border dispute and the subsequent war with China, tarnished India's international reputation and weakened its strategic position. His idealistic approach to international relations often clashed with ground realities, leading to diplomatic failures. Moreover, personal controversies, including allegations of nepotism and his relationship with Lady Mountbatten, added to the complexity of his public image. These controversies have led many to question the integrity of his leadership and the authenticity of his commitment to India's national interests. While Nehru's contributions to India are undeniable, these controversies and missteps cast a shadow over his legacy.